Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be a little bit different. So, you know, usually I do tutorials about specific things, but this time we're just going to have a look at item sorting in general um, using Red Power and sort of the different ways that you can sort of optimize it. Um, for this place, I chose this uh, little thing here. Yeah, I was just flying around quite far from uh, where I did test tracks. Well, only 400 meters, not too bad. Uh, this is one of those form craft uh, thingies where you can get these things from the obsidian tiles. Pretty cool. And there's a. Uh, Pig zombie spawner as well. Look at that feather falling for. All right. Um, actually, let me put this on peaceful because that's going to be annoying. Cool. Right. So I'm going to go through the items. I'm not going to really go into them too much. Um, I will explain what they do later on, but you know, not like uh, make this, etc. So, anyways, um, filter. You can have the recipe here. You can just. Um, Pause the screen. Uh, red dot wafer is important, by the way. Uh, redstone and silicon wafer. If you don't know how to make this, watch my other tutorials. <laughs> Sorting machine, you use the filter and some iron. Cool. And then you're probably going to need a timer or not, depending on how you want to set up. But I have one anyway, so you probably know how to make that. Um, some pneumatic tubes, which is a red power tube. Some restriction tubes, which is a pneumatic tube with a bit of iron. And that will count as a thousand tubes long. And I'll explain that later. And then we have some paint. Cool. Right. So if you want to know how to make the items, um, you better watch. Actually, I just did a little left let's play, so not in cheat mode anymore. Okay, cool. So let me get some basics out. For example, this stuff. Uh, and a filter. Cool. Sounds good to me. Uh, let me also get a restriction tube. Cool. So say you have an item full width. Uh, let's just go for dirt. Dirt. Cool. So you put a filter behind it and some tubes behind it as well. And then you branch out like this. Right? And this is important. The first part. Um, do I have a timer in here? Oh, I didn't get a timer. Oh, okay. Interesting. No, I do. Cool. So a timer will uh, pulse every few seconds and it will let the filter pull items out. Now you can see it put it in this chest. However, if we put more items in there, says so some timers, it should put it in that chest there. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> it does when you put multiple items in there. So it, it's a random thing because these tubes are exactly the same size and same length. So the way Red Power works is quite smart. It will always go to the closest available chest. Okay. The closest available. So, if we put this chest here and we put some items in, get some more timers, and wait till it pulses, it should always go in that chest. Always. Every single time it'll go into that chest because it's closer. You see, this is one, two tubes further, and this is just a single one. Cool. Now, to explain the um, restriction tubes, I'll just put that there. And we can put another stack of timers in there Ta -da. and now it'll go that way because this tube when red red power sees it it thinks oh god that's that's a long tube because it actually thinks it's a thousand meters long <laughs> cool so these sort of uh, simple techniques is what we're going to use now uh, the other very um, thing that you should remember is that a there's two ways of sorting well there's more but two main ways i would say uh, and they're both they're both very efficient. There's not much between them really. Um, the first one uses only sorting machines. The second one uses um, filters as well. So let me explain to you the filter one. And we're not going to touch any any sorting machines in this way. So you know this setup, right? So the filter is going to pull items out of the chest. We're going to have these tubes, and we're going to say we want to have some items in there. So we put this uh, there. And we want to have some items here, and we're going to put some chests on top of it as well. Hop. Hop. Damn it. <laughs> Hop. Cool. Now we're going to say that we want to have solar panels go in there, and we want to have timers in there. So you just put the item in the filter, all right? And the filter will only accept items um, that are in it already. So I'll show you what I mean. Let me get a screwdriver. This screwdriver. So we can turn these around. Oh. There you go. Perfect. So this one is a solar panel. So if we chuck a solar panel in there, 
wait till it pulses, it should go in here because this filter accepts it. And again, Red Power will always send the items to the closest available place, right? Cool. So this is one way you could have it set up. You know, you could have one main line and you just um, pick up items all the time. So you could have, for example, say that this is my Red Power tube. I might say, I want to have timers in there. I want to have tubes in there, you know. Of course, the problem is you can have only nine items. You could sort of alleviate that by having another filter here that goes to the same, you know, but... Mm. <laughs> So that is the filter solution. This is one of my favorites, actually. Um, and then we come to a good point that I always like to make with sorting. Divide and conquer, okay? Divide and conquer, that's all it's about. All you want to do is you have one main input, okay? So that main input at the moment is this chest. From there, you want to slowly but surely um, divide that big input. So you want to say, okay, from the thousand possibilities can go in that chest, 10 go in there. 990 are left 10 go in there 980 are left 10 go in there 970 are left you know and that's why you do oh i just remember there's faces on here what the <laughs> i've never seen that sorry i got a bit distracted um so that's the main philosophy right so you, you think okay what kind of items can go in here and i just want to pick them up one by one or 10 by 10 you know to get them out so that's one way this way you don't need any paint you don't need any power <laughs> this all works beautifully and it's fast now when it comes to um, making a sort of system I would always choose for simple things first right simple as you can first for example you know the factorization it has barrels barrels only accept one item so for example if I put some barrels here like that um, and I remove these now when i put items in here say one filter one timer one barrel one pneumatic tube it's going to put the first one in there and that's now a timer barrel the next one's going to go in there barrel so this way you don't need any filters whatsoever right you don't need anything because if you have a barrel for every single item you just put a tube around it and red power will do the rest now of course that's not possible because there's all i don't know ten thousand items in a game you can't have ten thousand barrels but I would always recommend that for the items that you're going to have a lot of, the cobblestone, sand, maybe glass, coal, redstone, um, all that sort of stuff, make some barrels. It makes your life a lot easier, trust me. Cool. So that is definitely something cool. Now, uh, actually, also what I wanted to show you is, whoops, when you use barrels, um, a nice little system, and I'll use that here now uh, just to demonstrate, is... Not that is having multiple barrels for example say I have a few barrels right I keep doing that don't I <laughs> okay then use a restriction tube there so that it'll always force it to go into a barrel because remember it'll always go into the closest available so even if there's a barrel here for, say, I don't know, solar panels, if there's a closer inventory here available, it will go there instead if this path is longer. Cool. Um, so that's a very basic sort of uh, system with filters. And you'd be surprised. This will work pretty much better than a sorting system, I think. <laughs> but let's go have a look at the sorting system as well. So the sorting machine is um, it's pretty cool. Um, a nice thing about the sorting system is that you can uh, you don't have to have a timer it'll run of itself. Uh, you do need to give it power, however, so... I don't know, we can uh, maybe... Does that give it power enough? Not really, but... I should probably made a bad box. <laughs> Whoopsie! That's all right. These all give power through each other, by the way, so that's nice. Okay, that'll do. Um, so we can have the same setup, pretty much. Um, now, the cool thing about a sorting machine is that you see this interface here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you much about this, it's not very important. I would always put it on this and then I would put it on this. That is my recommendation. Now, um, let me just get some random items so that we can uh, fill this up. Say, these you can give colors just by clicking on it, right? And these colors are the exact same colors as you would uh, have in painting. So all the paint you can make is the same colors as this. So say you make all these, uh, say these colors. What this will do is say I'll put a filter in the yellow um, line here. It will mark any filter that comes through the sorting machine with yellow color. 
So, uh, let me actually see what paint I have ready. I have a yellow one, nice. So, if I put a yellow brush on this, it means only yellow can go through here. Only yellow, okay? It does not mean that yellow will always go through there. Okay, that's a bit of a weird thing. Say, for example, what do I put in there? A filter. Do I have another filter? No, of course not. Um, let me get another one. Boom. So if I do that, you would imagine that any filter I put in here will be put into the uh, into here because it's yellow. But that's not true because this pipe is longer. So it'll always go to the closest available, which is that place at the, that moment. Cool. So pretty much already you've learned how this all works. Um, actually, you do need a timer. That's all right. And I would always recommend powering it with a proper tool. Okay. Um, so you can see the barrel will go up there because there's nothing here available. Uh, but this is sort of how it works. Now let's have a, a very simple look. I'm not going to power it or anything because it's going to take quite a while. And I think it's, it'll be clear enough this way as well. Uh, let's have a look at a very simple sorting system. Okay. So always remember, by the way, uh, this side is always the output of items. Now this is uh, one of my um, small favorites, really. I'm just going to set it out a bit bit bigger than, than I normally would. But this is a line of sorting machines. Okay. Um, actually, I have another better way. There's two ways of making this, but I always have my favorite way that I've been doing for a long time. So I'll stick to my guns. <laughs> okay. So this is your chest. Uh, you can have a filter here, or a sorting machine doesn't really matter for me. Uh, then you put your Come on, sorting machine, next sorting machine, next sorting machine, as many as you need really, but keep in mind that each of these has eight lines, plus you can give any um, any item that doesn't exist in these lines will be given this color, like a random color. And then you just do that. And for example, I could have eight colors on here, all right? Because I can get ten different, uh, eight different colors lines in here, so I wouldn't put this on that. By the way, ta-da, done. So that's a very compact sort of sorting system. That's one way you can go. My favorite is still this system with barrels on top, and uh, you can see that in my let's play as well. So I've got barrels on top, and then I've got filters right next to it like that. So this filter, for example, is my B one. You know, so I put B stuff in there, and that will go to a chest. Um, and then I've got another filter right there, and that will go to another chest full with, uh, I don't know, red power stuff. And then I've got another um, filter maybe with, I don't know, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter, with factorization stuff. Uh, that's my favorite system because you don't need any sorting machines. It's very easy sort of to extend, whilst a sorting machine can be a bit of a pain. Like if you have to break it, say, uh, did I set all the colors for this? Yeah, I did. Say you break this, you're going to have to set all these colors again. Say this sorting machine and the timer is not fast enough. Like if you have two quarries running, you want to add another sorting machine to it. You're going to have to set all the colors again. It's just a pain. <laughs> so I would recommend going for filters. It's cheaper. It runs faster. Um, and it really doesn't use much else. Um, the only thing that I would use sorting machines for is, for example, um let me actually show you i can go to my let's play world very quickly where i was sitting on a potato apparently okay uh so this is my sorting system down there but you see all the barrels are here right and that's just one tube running along everything and i just let um red power 2 do the thinking for me and my sorting system is this this is the main line i've got sorting machines set up not filters uh, and that's because all these sorting machines only carry sort of the random stuff. And there's always more than nine. So then I'd have to use multiple filters, which is a bit of a pain. So I use these. And what this will, will do is, for example, potatoes. If I throw those in, they'll come past here. Uh, this is my potato. I think potatoes are in here. No, only poisonous potatoes. Okay. Well, that's a good way as well. So it'll pass everything. And as you can see, I didn't put any colors in any of them. I don't use them that way. I just don't think that's efficient. I don't think that's easy. You need to make so much paint. It takes so much time. 
Uh, but as you can see, it doesn't want to go in any of these because I don't have the potato set up. And it'll just keep going and going and going. It'll go under here. Hopefully. <laughs> yep. And then it'll go in this last sorting machine. And my last sorting machine has red for every sort of random item or mob drop that I know. And everything else goes into white. And white goes into my random chest. And that chest is a very good sort of way to know what you still have to sort. So if I open my random chest, I'm thinking, oh, I'm not sorting any netherrack. I'm not sorting any soul sand. Uh, I've got a few of these vile swords, which, well, of course, you can't really sort easily, you know. So that's a good way of, um, of knowing what you still have to sort. Anyways, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I think you should know what to do now. It's it's really not that difficult. Um, really, you just have to try it, you know. But the main thing you have to keep in mind, the and hook. So make a main line for testing. Make a main line and slowly creep items off it. So this will take all the building materials off, apart from the barrels, of course. Uh, this path goes up to the barrels. As you can see, sugar cane, I have a barrel for that, so that goes up. Um, and then I take these items off. Then I have another chest up here with random foodstuffs. I take those items off and slowly the items coming along this line will thin out. Until at the end, hopefully, there's not much left to be put in a random box. Cool. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know. I know it's kind of a um, complex sort of thing, but you're going to have to try it out. Like for me, I've had four, five, six different systems. Um, I still very much like the system I have now much more than the, than the last one I had. But yeah, that's about everything. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.